When God sets watchmen on the walls of a nation, God knows there's impending danger. The enemy is coming, and the watchman was designed to watch carefully, night and day, and whatever they saw, they were to announce so that God's people would know how to respond. What if God were saying, and I believe he is, I've set watchmen on your walls, O America. He said, if the church is degenerate and worldly, the pulpit's responsible for it. He said, if the world loses its interest in religion, the pulpit's responsible for it. He said, if Satan rules in our halls of legislation, the pulpit's responsible for it. He says, if our politics become so corrupt that the very foundations of our government are ready to fall away, the pulpit is responsible for it. Tony Perkins came to the Family Research Council as president with a proven track record of connecting pastors with public policy and church with government. As a state legislator in Louisiana and author of the nation's first covenant marriage law, Tony noticed that there were many pro-abortion and anti-family groups lobbying the legislators, but there were very few people of faith pleading for biblical morality. Tony determined to change that and began inviting pastors to the Capitol for a briefing on legislation and a meeting with lawmakers. He was so successful that pastors continue to talk about how dramatically the climate at the Capitol has changed. You know, serving in Louisiana the last 20 years, I've seen a lot of different things take place in our state. And the halls of our Capitol in Louisiana has just totally changed due to prayer, uh, due to communication, during the connection. It is a different place. When I remember going and seeing Tony uh, in our capital uh, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, it seemed like you were the only ones. There's just a small remnant there. Now when I walk through the halls of our capital, you see there's many Bible studies. There's many senators and, and representatives that are gathering together. They're now asking the pastors what's going on. It's a different temperature. It's a different climate at our capital right now. And I believe that can be contributed to many groups coming together and Watchmen on the Wall, FRC, and Tony Perkins and his team have been a point person for that. So it's a great time in Louisiana. When Tony came to lead FRC, he believed that God wanted him to do on the national level what he had done on the state level. So in 2004, he launched a unique outreach to pastors, Watchmen on the Wall. Watchmen on the Wall is based on Isaiah 62.6. We challenge and equip pastors to assume the biblical role of a watchman. Watch what is going on in the culture. Pray for the wisdom to engage biblically, courageously, and winsomely. Sound the alarm from the pulpit and take a bold stand with others to defend and advance faith, family, and freedom. We began in 2004 with 1,200 pastors in our network. Today, we have nearly 14,000. But Tony's vision is for the Watchman on the Wall pastors to be a tipping point in our nation. To do that, Tony wants 40,000 Watchman on the Wall pastors nationwide by 2015. We appreciate your prayerful consideration. Would you become one of America's 40,000 Watchman on the Wall pastors? Joining our network means you're willing to take a stand in your community and do the following. One, pray for our nation. Two, preach on moral issues from a biblical perspective. And three, partner with at least three pastors for prayer and united action in your community, your state, and our nation. To join the Watchman Network, please visit watchmanpastors.org and click on Count Me In. When you do, we will provide everything you need to get started. And as part of our network, we will stand with you as you advance faith, family, and freedom in your community. With God's help, we can transform America.